I think in the beginning, to be honest, I uh, it was hectic. Anx- I was full of anxiousness, but I guess I I had a panic attack. To be honest, one day I woke up and I had a panic attack. I spent that whole Saturday in my blankets, despite having my my whole family around. I did have one, but I guess from that I it just um, taught me I had to I had to embrace what was going on. Um, I think for most of us, it has been a difficult situation having to be forced to to think about losing anyone close to you because of something that can that you feel like maybe can be avoided. Um, so I really, I really had to tell myself, channel myself to say, I need to embrace what is going on. And in order for me to do that, I, I have to make choices and um, choices that are positive, uh, to make sure that everyone is protected. And if, if or should anything happen, I know I did try my best. I did put in 100% towards that. And another thing, just being mindful, mindful of what's going on, mindful of myself, uh, self-care in the process, making sure that every family member um, has got self-care and compromising. If I have to now allow my child to be on WhatsApp just to just for her to talk to her friends, um, if that can help. So there's a lot of compromising, um, being mindful and just embracing what's going on because the more we try to deny what's going on, then the more um, it will be difficult uh, going forward or the future because, I mean, no one knows what's going to happen down the line. We're taking one day is at a time. So I guess that's... That's that's what has been happening to me, like trying to embrace what's going on, um, making the right choices um, and just being mindful, being mindful of my surroundings, being mindful of myself, what's going on within me and accepting that, yes, I can I can have a panic attack. Yes, I can be anxious. Then it's normal. It should be normal in these circumstances. I mean, no one is choosing this moment, but it is happening. So, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's what I can say. Well, thank you, Olyan. And I think what, what I'm picking up from you is that accepting the situation that one is in to say, okay, like, for example, in your case, you had panic attacks. In my case, I had headaches. And mm-hmm. then to move on to say, but what do I do to deal with this situation? And then, but at the end of the day, somehow this helps you to be to be present. You, you spoke about mindfulness, you know, to be mindful and also embracing where you are. Because in most cases, yes. yes, we can accept where we are, but we, we we tend not to embrace and say, all right, this is where I am. It's okay to be where I am, you know. And also as we embrace, you know, where we are, we also look at the positives and the negatives and how that contribute to something beautiful that, um, you know, that we can have in our lives right so yes. I, I think yeah yeah so thank you for thank you thank you for sharing that for me it has to be that it's important to plan out my day and make sure that i have a dedicated workspace So I study at the library. So now I have to make sure that every day I try and wake up at the same time that I'd usually work out to go to the library. So that has been a challenge, but it's it's getting there. It's getting there. So I try and wake up as early as possible and dress up as if I'm going somewhere so I can get my mind ready and make sure that I'm doing something. I'm being productive. So for me, it's planning my day, having a schedule on that I'm going to do this at that time. And yeah, figuring out um, which days I'm usually productive. Like I mentioned earlier on how during the day, it's a bit of a challenge at times. Sometimes I work at night. I'm more productive at night because of the environment I'm in. So yeah my coping mechanisms also involve sometimes jogging and walking that has helped me so much actually 
Oh, so basically um, you, you try to adjust right to the, to the new way of doing things. But at the same time, you are also, you know, looking out, looking after yourself, you know, health wise. Is it uh, physical health wise? Sorry. Physical and because, yes. yeah, you jog. You said you jog and you walk as well. Yes. And somehow that also, and I think, yeah, looking at, because, oh, guys, uh, Renee is an honor student. So I'm just thinking that with all these uh, assignments and everything, because nothing changed for, for our, our undergraduate and honor students. So basically, life still goes on, but they still need to adjust to the new normal. So I think somehow that also helps you with the stress that comes from, you know, all this, um, you know, things yes. going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's great. Thank you. Well, for me, because I'm not a gym person, I jog a lot now. So that's mm. mind refreshing for me because after the jogging, I just feel refreshed. I feel I come on point, I can keep going. So yeah, and sleeping, I also enjoy sleeping. So I sleep quite yeah, a lot, I do relax. And I try to eat healthy. I try to read um, inspiring books. And yeah, that's what I normally do at the moment. But I think what I'm also picking up from everyone here is that I think self-care is the most mm -hmm. important thing. It helps us to deal with you know the the everything that you know comes with the, the whole lockdown situation because i'm just thinking from uh you know being mindful embracing where we are you know and going to the jogging sorry jogging walking we also spoke about sleeping because i mean under normal circumstances we hardly we hardly sleep mm -hmm. we find it very wrong to sleep eight hours but when you, you are able to rest, you know, you are able to also take care of those around you. So, yeah, which, which is, I think it's good. And for me, what I, I'm taking also from the whole COVID-19 pandemic situation is that it's also teaching us to be kind to ourselves from what, uh, you know, most of you have said. And to just say, okay, this time there's nothing I can do with what's happening, but let me focus on something that's working, you know. Um, I think it's a mouthful um, regarding what, is, what others have been doing, hoping I was also been joking, which is something that you can hardly do when you have to wake up early in the morning and go to work. But at least it's something that you, it's self-care, basically. It's just one thing that you just have to look out for your, your thoughts, what you're thinking. If you have some negative going on through your mind, you just have to say, just take I was just taking it one day at a time and so far I'm I'm coping and I think with the time that COVID has bought me, um I'm actually just right. Um, yeah. One thing that I'm grateful for from all of you is that uh as much as there were negative experiences that came, you know, along with the whole COVID nineteen pandemic and the lockdown, the good thing is that you you are fine you know, and uh, you are you are winning in most aspects of your life, which is good. And also academic wise, you are also, um, you know, winning. And I'm grateful for that. But one thing that I like the most is that you are taking care of yourselves because, I mean, if you are not well 100%, whether it's mentally or physically, it becomes difficult to either take care of your families or to... Um, do well in your academics so I'm, I'm happy for that there's also something else that also materialized or was give, give was given birth like the whole support group that we're going to have which i'm happy about so so yeah thank you so much for for sharing your experiences